Hey, what's up everybody? I know this channel is not typically like a PC hardware news conference, keep up with the times kind of channel, but if you're someone who's looking to make the most of your money or just make sure you maximize your dollar in terms of its value, making sure you get good performance and don't put a hole in your wallet, you're gonna want to watch this video because there are two major announcements that we just heard here at CES. So obviously you guys know CES has started, it's like, tech, nerd, Christmas holiday season. And I just finished with the NVIDIA news conference and they dropped two bombs of announcements on us. And they seem a little too good to be true. Um, they definitely addressed some controversy, which they had in their last big announcements concerning RTX. And I'm gonna head home right now because it's a little chaotic in here, but I'm gonna try to get my thoughts together about everything that just happened and then we'll talk about it because if you're a gamer, if you're looking to buy parts or build parts and make the most of your money, like I always encourage you to, this is definitely something that you need to keep into uh, consideration. All right, so I am back home. Let's talk about these two big announcements. Number one, and I'm gonna be reading from my notes here, so sorry for the lack of eye contact. Obviously, the RTX 2060 was announced. You probably saw this from either some articles or big YouTubers that you already follow, but this is really exciting. And that's because this RTX 2060 card also has the ray tracing technology and it only costs $350. Now, as great as all of that sounds, this announcement is suspicious as all hell. So I'm sitting there listening and I'm really excited about what they're gonna say about this 2060 and how great it is, when out of nowhere, a RTX 2060 is higher performance than a 1070 Ti. They drop that it's going to be faster than a 1070 Ti. Now, for those of you that don't know, a 1070 Ti is a very, powerful graphics card and it's still more than relevant today. I mean, if you look at the specs of a 1070 Ti and a GTX 1080, they are almost the same card. I would say money-wise in terms of performance, the difference there should probably only be about like 40, $50. So essentially what they're saying in this new generation, that this model that is two to three models weaker than the previous generation is gonna be stronger than a 1070 Ti for a hundred dollars less at that. It's just, it's one of those situations where it's way, way too good sounding to be true. I mean, just so you understand, the 1070 Ti was released at $450. That's what you could get it for when the card dropped. But now, this 2060 being $350, which is gonna be released January 15th, by the way, is, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the price, right? The price is amazing, but there's just no possible way that this card can be that much better in terms of higher frames per second, but then also come with this ray tracing technology and be $100 cheaper. Like, I have to find out, like, where are we losing on something because there's just no way we can have it all and pay less money as gamers and consumers. I personally plan on buying one of these cards the second they release because I wanna test this live and see if it actually does hold up to be a true statement. But just in case um, there are some of you that want answers right now, um, there's actually a video out on Bitwit's channel um, and he actually ran some benchmark tests and showed the results. And what I saw there is almost identical performance to a 1070 Ti. Now, I didn't get to see any actual gameplay and you know the video didn't seem too crazy in depth, so that's why I do plan on doing one of my own reviews, but if those tests have similar results to all other games that people do play today, I will be more than mind blown. I, I mean, I think the general consensus right now should be that the 2060 is definitely something that you should be very excited about to the point where you should be looking to pick one up the second that they drop for the public, which again is January 15th. And the second biggest announcement in my opinion are the 2080 GPU chips that are going to be released in upcoming thin gaming laptops. Now another jaw dropping thing that they are claiming. Now here's the performance of it. It's faster than a GTX 1080 desktop these 2080 GPU chips in thin laptops 
thin. I say thin so importantly because look how thin it is. Usually, you know, thicker gaming laptops are that big because they need to try and disperse all the heat that comes from a powerful graphic chip. But they're claiming, you know, they're gonna have these 2080s in these thin laptop chips. Anyways, the reason this is so mind blowing is they're saying that the performance of these chips in these laptops are gonna be greater than desktops that have 1080s. Now, in case you don't know what that means, the reason a desktop computer is more powerful than a laptop is because it has space to do sufficient cooling. When your parts get too hot, the performance suffers. And like I touched on before, if you are cramming powerful parts into a tiny frame, cooling options are very limited. Now, obviously that statement is just very, very hard to believe. I'm hoping it's true. I mean, if it is true, then you finally, I think will be looking at, for gamers at least, who travel and want to move on the go, have a very real option for gaming that they can take with them when they're on the go. And then here's some of the notes I took down on this. They said they found a way to optimize this more powerful 2080 chip by having it use less power. So less power typically means less heat, it sounds like they're undervolting the chip, which kind of sounds like it could work. Now, in case you guys are unfamiliar with undervolting, um, it's actually a technique that kind of got really popular back when graphics card mining was a thing. And long story short, that whole technique showed that you can basically find ways to optimize the performance or power that you can get from that chip while not sending it a ton of power. But there was one thing during this whole demonstration with the laptop that absolutely <laughs> shook me. Now, when I saw this in person, I, I, I wanted to believe I didn't see it. I was hoping I didn't see it. And I came home, I downloaded the Twitch VOD only to confirm that this should actually happen. And I couldn't help but laugh and also be a little bit scared. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a gigabyte 2080 notebook, 2080 RTX laptop. I think I'm playing Marshall. Yeah, this is gonna help. This gun is bigger. Here, take that. Please, please tell me I'm not the only person who saw that. So, <laughs> essentially what happened is, you know, they're hyping up this whole GPU 2080 in laptops, and then when he actually starts to kind of play the version of the game they have on it, Stuttered. This gun is bigger. This gun is bigger. This gun is bigger. The game stuttered on stage at a massive key conference CES announcement. Like, Nvidia, are you kidding? <laughs> you have to be kidding me. You hype up this laptop for like. 30 minutes and then the second you start moving the game stutters I mean Look I Understand you know Gaming computers the experience is not always going to be perfect and maybe maybe we saw a tiny tiny You know 0.01% stutter that happens, but I, just, I, I Can't believe I saw it with my own eyes and I can't believe that no other giant tech tubers or anyone else has talked about that stutter. I, you know, it could not be a big deal and maybe I'm blowing it out of proportion, but you know, stuttering in games is something that you never want to deal with and experience. And the fact that we saw it in the very small time frame that they were, you know, showing this demonstration, I just, I, it's, you know, some red flags. I mean, those, those laptop GPU chips are going to be something to look out for, to say the least. <laughs> Either way, both crazy announcements, and both things that you should look forward to in the future if you are looking, like I said before, to make the most of your money because the 2060, I think, from what we understand so far, is a very good option. Buy it the second it comes out. I know I will be trying to do that. And the laptop GPU chips, mm, they sound exciting too, to say the least. There are definitely some big advancements made. And Nvidia, I don't think, failed to impress this time. I was pleasantly surprised with everything they had to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know the quality is probably going to be a little bit lesser, but you know, that's what happens when you're going to CES and you're running on a small time frame to do all the things that you need to do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this information entertaining, informative in any way, shape, or form. I forgot my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.